Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children all ages, welcome to today's advent calendar and welcome to my office, which now is starting to look more and more like a freaking studio. Uh, yeah, if you can't tell, I got some lights. I got some. No, I'm borrowing these from work. These guys are, how much are they? They're relatively cheap lights. I'm nervous about this guy because he's kind of just sitting here you know again when i play vr which is what this is for i tend to sometimes hit things without realizing it and then again initially i had them right here but that's gonna be right in front of the camera there which should be a little bit this way i think anyways so yeah the thing with vr without lights i can only record during the daytime where i have to have the window open to let the light from outside mm. in so with this, with borrowing some, since we're not doing anything at work here, I'm able to borrow lights. And essentially I have the basic uh, three uh, key lighting that they teach you in film school. <laughs> Is uh, you have your main, your fill, and your back. But that's not tradition, that's, I don't have it set up normally. I just have these two at equal parts because you can't see with that on, I'm nervous about making shadows. So that's why that guy is there. So that way it dulls the uh, shadows there. So if I shut them off, where's your switch at? Oh, by the way, these are color ones, which make them a little bit more expensive. So they can go from uh, sun to indoor or mixture. I prefer the blue outdoor light. So if I shut this off, you can clearly see how heavy my shadow becomes. So the main with the backlight is to separate your subject from the background. So usually, if not that one, that's more of a background light. Uh, a uh, backlight is if I have one up there pointing down at my head to separate, to lighten the back of my head up kind of. So again, the traditional example is if you have a, back, back, a black background and someone with raven dark hair, they'll blend into the background unless you shine a light on the top of their head. So anyways, are we still recording? Yes, we are. I have my thing there. Anyways, I'm about to do another VR game. A uh, Christmas one, as you can see, well, my little Christmas hat here. Also, I want to do Fallout, so depending on when the, and that video may come out before this one. <laughs> Anyways, but yeah, I uh, want to give Fallout, I haven't seen anything on it yet, so I wanted to surprise myself by it. So, anyways, all that aside though, uh, today, uh, actually, today is the day of the meteor shower. I'm actually debating whether or not I want to go out. Uh, an hour outside of town to, into the darkness to take time-lapse photo of the meteor shower Again, if I had more cameras mm, That would be an easier decision anyways, but today's advent calendar before I get started recording is What is this gab? I mean I have plenty of light to read uh, Gabarito Gab Raito Alilo lemon cream um such small print and also looking at these lights you know i have the burnt images in my eyes oh here it goes it says it here product of italy 17 percent alcohol by volume 34 proof so pretty low proof 15 proof down in the uh flavorful stuff again it's lemon cream which again i'm not a big fan of lemon as much as in citrus because again my heartburn is so with citrus acid oh come on what is it with these lids yeah there we go not wanting to give lids that don't give what's up with that man anyways I got one of my bigger shots because this looks like a different one then again looks can be deceptive no it's almost a shot and a half there so this is a bit more than usual XD cam again I need to get me a new one would love to get me a new one but that's in the future also speaking of which I still have my list here of Ouya games I need to cover. Uh, J&K's, uh, Machina, Rium. Have I done that one? No, see the problem is some of these I've done full playthroughs of, so I need to do like a review of, so. But I'll get to that. As, and also I've had plans for the backyard, but anyways, let's do this here. Smell, let's see. Smells like citrus. I mean, big surprise, right? Kinda smells. There's a certain smell to it. Lemon and all that stuff, but I'm trying to say it reminds me of something specifically. Pine salt, I guess. Not pine salt, because pine salt smells like pine salt, but there's lemon scented pine salt and that kind of fake lemon smell. 
I know it sounds delicious, right? I sm <laughs> but it smells kind of like that scented, um, that type of lemon scent is what it smells like. Ah, that's also what I'm smelling. The creamness, but it smells like something specifically, not ice cream per se, but like when you mix something, by the way, the news is talking about the stargazing. Ah, I should be doing that. The Gemini meteor shower. Again, I gotta go an hour outside town. I'm in Phoenix, what, like the f fifth biggest city in, Ari in Arizona, in a, the United States. So there's lots of lights outside. So I need to head about a mile outside of town to see that. Might get a little bit cold, but anyways, so, but yeah. Almost like when you mix a lemon to something, but it's thinned by the cream taste but there's alcohol in it, so it smells like a bad smoothie. Again, it's it's hard to describe the smell there, so uh, the cleaning products description might not be fall off because I'm, what I'm probably relating it to is uh, alcohol wipe smell mixed with lemon, so, but yeah. So again, there's the lemon smell, there's the alcohol smell, and there's a little bit of cream smell mixed in, of course, but it smells kind of cleaning product-like, so. Yeah, anyways, main smell, lemon. I've been rambling too much. Again, because it's, I know it's bugging me. It's on the tip of my tongue. There's something there I know it smells like, but I can't think of it. But anyways, here's to, see? The funny thing is, I have more lights in here because I want it, but to k take pictures, I want the absence of light. So, oh, I need to figure, make up my mind. But anyways, here's to stargazing and relax. No, uh, <laughs> uh here's, to seeing the light. I don't know. I can't think of anything witty here, but uh, it's nice that I have work that lets me borrow equipment. So here's the being able to make do with what you have and borrowing what you don't, I guess. Cheers. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So, cream, cream taste, lemon, light lemon, kind of lemon cream. Well, I, again, it's it, it tastes like lemon cream, right? There's not much wiggle room there. So if you had like a heavy cream with a little bit of hint of lemon to it, that's what it tastes like. So imagine a, a unsweet lemon cake pie, something like that. Lemon cake pie, bad description. Lemon meringue or something. I never had meringue. Anyways. <laughs> Imagine kind of a cream with a little bit of lemon to it. That's the initial taste. And it goes down as thick. So it's pretty thick. Now, riding along with it and you kind of, it pokes it head, it pokes its head up every so often in a taste of alcohol. Non-descriptive, little bit of alcohol warmth here and there as it, again, it kind of bounces around your mouth as it goes down, but never a distinguishing note of alcohol or warmth. This kind of pokes up every so often as it goes down. but. All you're really tasting is heavy cream. Again, but it's kind of muddled with the lemon and not really strong on either. If you have to describe it as anything, it's heavy cream, um, heavy cream taste, not, I mean, heavy as in the taste, cream as in the taste, not the heavy cream that you put in, I guess, what? What do you put heavy cream in? Cooking? Anyways, cream taste, a little bit of lemon, accents of warmth is what he described. So that, I don't know. Yeah, even the taste tastes like a cooking element. Like it's incomplete. Like it's mixing, missing something. Like when if you, if you take a, a taste of something before you add sugar to it to make cookies or whatever, it just tastes like a cooking element on its own. So again, I imagine what you mix this in with a little bit of flour, sugar, and eggs, and you got yourself lemon cookies. Hmm, that's not too bad. But yeah, again, not the strong alcohol taste. Nothing to it. It just eggnog. It has the same consistency and taste of eggnog. That's a good description of it. 
but again it's lacking the sweetness replaced with a little bit of lemon taste so imagine lemon eggnog light that's what it kind of tastes like there hmm interesting but yeah again i would use that as a cooking element less of a mixing element so again cookies would be perfect for that a little bit of a lemon sugar cookies mm. of course the alcohol will cook out but hey who cares you just drown it more alcohol <laughs> anyways i've been rambling what it's been 10 minutes how the hell did i talk for 10 minutes anyways all that aside uh thanks again for watching i'll see you tomorrow merry christmas happy new year and i'll see you tomorrow again bye <laughs>